Hey guys, Efto here, and today I'm back with a new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download mods for Minecraft. Now, there are two downloads that will be in the description, the first of which is Forge. You want to open that up and just scroll down to the bottom of the page. This bit here isn't really important, it's the bit down here that you want to be going to. So it's the green one there, Forge 1.8. If you're obviously using a different update, then download that one instead. And then just hit the keep file. This will download, and Forge is really basically what you put your mods onto. Now once you move this to your desktop, at least that's how I would do it, double click to open it up. Now it's important that the last profile you've loaded on Minecraft is that of which you want to be, you know, 4G, if you know what. Let me try and word that differently. Say you have an Optifine one and you have your normal one, so in my case it would be Efdo. I would want Efdo to be the last one I've loaded, not something else, not Optifine, not a friend's account. Because whichever one you use is the one that the Forge account will be made with. And it's completely free by the way, it's just, um, it will make one that's like, it will say Efdo Forge. And then I load that and I'm playing on my Efdo account, but I can use mods. So you just hit, ins you have install client ticked and hit the OK button. Then that would create that, I've already done it so I'm not going to do it again. Then that will create, your, you know, your Forge and you can load that and it'll be just the same as any other of your, you know, it would be exactly the same as your, say, Efdo one in my case. But at that point there wouldn't be any mods. However, this is the account that you can put the mods on. So you go back to here, click the second download, at least if you want to use this one, i put a load of them in the description for you. Damage indicators is the one I'll be using just because it's generally one of the more popular ones. Scroll down here, and again if you are new to a mod, you'll see crafting recipes and information about it all here, which will be useful for you. Hit the download, this one will all, pretty much always take you to an ad, a lot of the mods will. Forge generally doesn't, but a lot of other mods will. A bit of a shame, you just have to wait it out. So wait for the seconds and then just skip the ad. And then once that is done, it will ask you again if you want to keep the file or not. <coughs> Sometimes it can take a while, there's no way around that, even with a fast computer. And once it is done, hit keep, ignore this. You want to you keep that and get rid of that as fast as you can, because it will just start playing ads in your face. So what you want now is, if you're on Windows 7, you can use the Windows button and the R button and hit the enter and it'll take you to your data roaming at which point you can go to dot minecraft and mods that went a really bit laggy there that's like clicked it but I think you saw that I went to the mods now if you don't have that then you can just go to percentage app data percent in here hit the enter button it'll take you to the same location so once you've gone in that mods folder you just click and drag the mod you've just downloaded into the mods folder and there you go. So then when you load that Forge profile on your Minecraft account, instead of say your Efto account, you know, your regular one, you'll be able to use any of these mods you've downloaded. You can you can stockpile them, you know, they don't lag too much. Depends on what you download. If you download a really, really um I guess one that has a lot of stuff added, it may lag you a bit, especially if you've not got a great computer. But things like these, extra achievements, stuff like that, it no lag whatsoever. And you can download things that mods that will increase your FPS to counteract any lag you receive, such as Optifine, which will itself will be in the description. Hope you found the video helpful or informative. And if you have, please do take one second, hit the like button below, and thanks for watching.